Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And um, in this video, I wanted to deal with this um, this situation here, okay, where uh, you have in uh, truckers, all right, that are now saying that starting Monday, um, as per this article, starting Monday, they're going to start rejecting uh, loads to NYC, okay, meaning that the, 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 you know, loads, meaning the goods that are being transported from the different factories and the different uh, regions into New York City, that the truckers that are actually doing the transporting of these goods are basically going to start boycotting and, and, and refusing, you know, to uh, transport things to, to um, you know, to NYC and instead go elsewhere. And so let's read a little bit about it. Um, now, situations with truckers, you know, either uh, boycotting generally, be it because of gas prices or because of some arbitrary reason, you know, this isn't the first time we've heard of it. And <laughs> especially in the in the world we live in today, there's so many possible uh, uh, reasons behind it, you know, whether it's sincere, it's, it's organic or inorganic. I mean, that's besides the point. The point being that this is actually a severe thing. OK, and when when these you know, if this if they actually start doing this and they don't, you know, avert this or remedy this, eventually you're going to start to feel that, you know, in the cities where you live. OK, and that's the thing, like we always, always yet again, put emphasis on, you know, as the scriptures say that a lot of people are going to die of, of lack of food. OK, and we know truckers don't just deliver food, but that's one of the, the, the crucial things. Right. Food is one of like the main necessities in order for people to function. You can have a TV, you can have a car, a washing machine, every all these other things, you know, even medicine. But if you don't have the proper uh, nutrition, if you don't have food, you ain't gonna, you're not going to survive, okay, or water. So the headline of this article reads, F around and find out. Truckers warn loads to NYC will be rejected starting Monday. Now, that's tomorrow, okay, and we're going to see. OK, if that's really the case or not. Truck drivers uh, transport between 70 percent to 73 percent of all freight in the United States. Therefore, when truckers begin discussing plans on social media to boycott loads to progressive hellhole <laughs> New York City, it's important to pay attention. Ex-user Chicago One Ray, uh, who appears to be a Midwest truck driver, shared a video late Friday night detailing that a number of truck drivers will begin denying loads to NYC on Monday. I don't know how far across the country this is or how many truckers are going to start denying loads to NYC, but I'll tell you, you F around and find out, <laughs> Chicago Ray said. He continued, we're tired of mother effing leftists effing with Trump. Okay, mother effers start to get tired of this shit. Our bosses aren't going to care if we deny loads. We'll go somewhere else. You know how hard it is to get in and out of NYC, the trucker emphasized. And of course, with these conditions, you know, everybody's on edge. OK, everybody's on edge because the economy is just that bad. So everybody feels it. And so when you when you hold a crucial position, you start to gain a bit more leverage because it's not like you're just easily replaceable. You know, truck being a truck driver, you know, you may think, oh, all you do is drive. <laughs> you try driving all those different miles, all those hours with a truck. OK, you, driving a truck is different than driving a regular sedan or SUV. OK, it's much different. It's not. Yeah, they're both vehicles, but they're different types of vehicles. That's why you need certain licenses to even drive certain different car, uh, kinds of cars. OK. So to be a truck driver is not something that you just get up one day and you just start doing. It's not it's not the easiest thing in the world. And it, and it takes <coughs> a certain, you know, kind of uh, a mindset or individual to do that consistently, traveling all that long distance. OK, so this isn't something that you just say, right, well, you don't want to come to NYC. OK, we're just going to fight. He just said 
their boss is not going to care. Why? Because their boss, their boss needs them. It's, it's probably not as easy to get maybe another truck driver that's just as good. So if you, if you are their manager, you think about it like this. Okay, okay, okay. Am I going to, of all the different states and all the different cities, all the different locations, because remember, New York City is not New York State, okay? New York City is within New York State. So there's other parts of New York that are not New York City that they can deliver to. So now you think, okay, am I really going to lose these workers that I need because they don't want to deliver to this one city? Hell no. All right, so you can go somewhere else. You can, you can deliver other places. And then, eventually, the city starts to feel it. But as you can hear, there's, there's a bit of political bias in here as well. All right? Now, I'm going to read this part here. It says, I've been on, on the radio. This is from Chicago Ray. I've been on the radio for over an hour, and I've talked to at least 10 truckers who are going... Salaki, who are going to start refusing loads uh, of Monday... For NYC, I talked to three guys that I work with who texted the boss and told him no at to NYC. Um, and then, let me see. I'm just looking at the rest of the tweet. All right, so it says your truckers are 95% Trump. <laughs> It'll get overturned on appeal, but you know how, how effing hard it is to get one of these mother effers into NYC. Cut the bullshit. I'll see you down the road. All right. So like I said, regardless of, you know, whether how organic it is, we're yet to find out if it's actually going to happen. We're yet to find out. And even if it does, how long and what effects it will have, we're yet to find out. But the point here is that, you know, it's once again, another knock on the door from the potential of, uh, you know, societal chaos, because one of the, one of the most important types of goods that truckers transport is food. OK, the things that you go and eat when you buy from the supermarket. Okay. So remember that the scriptures tell you, um, which I'm going to get after I finish this article, that one of the plagues that the Lord has created as a form of, of um, judgment is famine. <laughs> okay. Famine. And as we always let you know, famine is not that there's, there's just no food at all in, in existence, because if that was the case, the first famine would have, would have killed everybody. Okay. Famine means that there's a food scarcity. There is food, you just can't get access to it because, you know, there's very little of it, but there's still food somewhere. OK, and, and, and in situations like that, it allows the, those that have to gain more power, just like in the time of, of the book of Genesis with Joseph and Pharaoh. Uh, by Saturday morning, the video had amassed nearly three million views. This comes after a New York judge handed former President Trump a penalty of $355 million plus interest on his civil fraud case. So think about it. If you got 95% truckers or Trump supporters and this case just came like this, you know, and they're, they're pretty much saying, look, you know, we, we're going to use, you know, or they can, they can say we're going to use our, <coughs> our societal leverage to, you know, uh, influence certain decisions. OK, and if you do things we're unhappy with, well, you, you might need to, you know, pay some consequences for that. Here's what X users are saying about the potential trucker boycott of NYC. If truckers start denying loads to certain regime controlled cities, it's going to get spicy. Somebody else says boycott New York. Somebody else says, God bless our truckers. The people need to show their power enough Bud Light for New York. It is. <laughs> You know, so people are already fed up. And as the scriptures tell you, matter of fact, let me just let me just go there real quick. It tells you in the book of Second Ezra, right, that they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So what you're starting to see is that a lot of people are not, you know, think about like some of the ancient empires that ruled, right? The Assyrians or the Persians or the citizens. Yeah, they would get upset, but they were, you know, a bit more cautious to some degree of what they would say in public because it could, you know, they could get penalized for that, especially if it sounded treasonous or if it sounded disingenuous to the, the, the ruling class. Now, society today, they don't regard that. They're to the point where they're like, yo, even, even if you live in NYC, FNYC, <laughs> you know? 
So now let's get that real quick. Um, second Ezra's. Actually, let's get 16. Uh, see if I can find the precept that I'm looking for. This is second Ezra's chapter 16 verse. Yeah, there we go. 20. Mm, okay. 21. Matter of matter of fact, let's start at 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Scourges for amendment are like when a child does something bad and you 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 discipline them, you scourge them so they can amend their ways and 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 not do that thing again. So the Lord is saying here, he sends these plagues as scourges, punishments, so you can amend your ways, i.e., you are your, this society is wicked, the Lord sends a famine or he sends a plague and the society says, oh shit, this is very bad. You know, it's very painful. It's very punishing to us. Let's stop worshiping idols or let's stop committing murder and all these other wicked things so that, so that the Lord won't send another famine on us or so that he'll, he'll stop the famine. That is when the scourge actually amends, you know, the, the ways of these people. Here, however, as we're reading, the scriptures say that the scourges are sent for amendment. However, verse 20, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Like a, a child who does something bad, you whoop their ass, they're going to do something worse. You whoop their ass, they're going to do something worse. And that's these people. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, upon earth, sword, famine, keyword famine, and great confusion. And famine is one of the most prevalent forms of ju uh, judgments the Lord brings all through our history. Verse 22, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And that's the key part right there. Not just in New York City, not just in America, but the earth. And there, and there are actually a lot of different places on the earth right now that are already suffering from, um, you know, uh, from, from hunger. It says, and the other that escaped the sword or escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. So it's going to get that bad that you may be able to have something to eat. But if you don't die by famine, you're going to get got by another means. And in this society is more than likely going to be a, a some form of a of a modern weapon, you know, or you may get stomped out. OK, verse um, 23 and the dead shall be cast out as dung. So, you know what that is? That's like when you when you are walking around and if you're not fortunate enough, you're going to step in a pile of hot shit that somebody's dog released. From the from, the, you know, they had it, they had it roasting on low, slow heat, you know, for a good couple of hours. And then they finally had enough, so they stopped by the roadside and they just let it out. And then, then their owner didn't pick it up, right? You go and step in that shit, you're going to do that because it's just there. You know, there's places where you walk around and you just see dung laying on the floor. So, as the scriptures are saying here, their bodies, their dead bodies are going to be compared. It's going to be likened onto uh, uh, um, dung, you know, cast out, just out there. Okay? Now, um... As it says, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted and the cities shall be cast down. Okay? And that's the key part right there. You know, the, the earth is going to be wasted and the cities cast down. New York City is a city. And just like in the video game The Division, when you go to New York City, you can barely recognize it because it's been cast down. It's, it's been, it's, it, it, basically, they were showing the aftermath of what the collapse of the Big Apple, you know, and other parts look like from and, and I think in the division, it was based on um, the uh, purpose, purposeful spread of a, of a new pathogen that they put in, in the money. OK, but whatever the, the case is, this is what it's going to look like. So, you know, we are always looking out to see what's what's going to be the, the next trigger for the next event. OK, because we know, as we've been assured in the scriptures, it's going to happen. We just got to watch, you know, and and, and, and see so we're, we're aware, okay, of the situations that are going on, all right, as the scriptures say, watch as well as pray. So we're aware of what's going on, and we pray that the Lord protect us when it comes, and we don't get caught off guard. And in that case, we warn you as well, okay? So anyway, with that, Lord willing, this is uh, 
edifying and informative to the elect. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.